Um, someone who saw this Chinese spy balloon be shot down, Lisa Roberts, um, a witness. She lives in Conway, South Carolina, and she's joining me now. Um, Lisa, do I have you? Uh, yes, ma'am. So what did you see, Lisa? Um, well, uh, we walked down our back porch, and you could see jets flying around everywhere. I, I would assume there was possibly eight jets flying around. Um, and then a few minutes later, um, you could see two jets flying super close to the, the balloon. Um, and then maybe three to four minutes later, another jet comes in and another one right up underneath it. And all of a sudden, all you could see was smoke and then the debris falling down, like from, I get, take it from the, the balloon. Did you see the balloon before it was shot, like did, before it was shot down? Did you spot it initially? Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, when I walked out on the back porch, there were, I would say, two jets flying over, and then here come two more. And I was like, well. So then all of a sudden, you could see the balloon plain as day. Um, and it, I bet it was over my house probably around 10 minutes. Wow. And all of a sudden, the jets were just coming out of everywhere. And I, like I said, it probably was. It sat around that we could see it really good for a good 20 minutes. And jets flying, and we're, we're about 15 minutes from Myrtle Beach. So I'm assuming the balloon was shot over Myrtle Beach. Um, um, we're watching, Lisa, just, just so you know, we're watching the footage that you shot of this um, balloon, I believe, outside your home, because you said that's where you were um, when you yes, spotted ma'am. it. Um, so we're watching that footage now as you're talking. When you spotted this balloon initially, did you know what it was? I would not have known if I had already seen it earlier on the news. Um, it, it had to be really big because when the two jets looked underneath it, they were little compared to the balloon, I thought. Um, but and you, like I said, it was above our house for a good 20 minutes. So we, we watched it the entire time. I took several videos and pictures. Because I was like, what's the odds? Something from China would come over here, you know. But um, yeah, yeah. Was it was it moving pretty quickly, Lisa? Or did did it seem to be moving slowly? It was moving very slowly. And at one point, I thought it was going moving straight up, and then it came back down when the jets got closer. Um, and then, like I said, they were just constantly flying around. They would fly around it and then fly off, and then they would come back. And then all of a sudden, like I said, you've seen two jets fly by really close. And then here come two other ones from another direction. And then all you seen was smoke. And I sat there for a moment and I was like, well, they, they shot that balloon down. And when, I walked back in the house and watched the video and I said, yep. When you saw the, um, the fighter jets overhead, were you worried? No, I, I wasn't worried. Um, I just assumed at some point they were going to shoot it down um, because we had already got notice that they were shutting down the Myrtle Beach Airport. So I assumed at some point they were going to shut um, shoot it down. But I, and I just happened to catch it on, on film. I couldn't believe it. Um, I cannot yeah, believe it's, it. It's, it's unbelievable some of the footage that we're seeing. Did, did you feel it when it happened? Because I've been seeing some reports on social media, especially that a lot of folks kind of that were near the area um, they they felt the reverberations of, of the balloon being shot down. Did you feel anything? Hear anything? No, not, not from my viewpoint. I didn't. I, I couldn't hear anything. I I couldn't feel anything. I I just saw it. Um, but now I'm still, you know sure people that were clo living closer did did feel it. But I, from where I was at, I could not.